Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and today we celebrate a major feast, which is also the first of the joyful mysteries of the Rosary, the Annunciation. Perhaps you're thinking, wait a minute, I thought we celebrated that feast on March 25th, exactly nine months before Christmas, the birth of Jesus. Well, normally we do, but this year, March 25th fell on Good Friday, and so rather than dropping such an important feast like the Annunciation, it was moved to the first available day after Easter week, the eight days following Easter Sunday. At the Annunciation, Mary said yes to God's plan that she be the mother of his son. And at that moment, Jesus was conceived in her womb and began developing like any human being develops after his or her conception. Mary's yes gave flesh to the Son of God. Pope St. John Paul II wrote about this in his last encyclical letter about the Church and the Eucharist. He said, quote, In a certain sense, Mary lived her Eucharistic faith even before the institution of the Eucharist by the very fact that she offered her virginal womb for the incarnation of God's Word. The Eucharist, while commemorating the Passion and Resurrection, is also in continuity with the Incarnation. At the Annunciation, Mary conceived the Son of God in the physical reality of his body and blood. Thus, anticipating within herself what to some degree happens sacramentally in every believer who receives under the signs of bread and wine the Lord's body and blood. Did you catch that? Our amen when we receive Holy Communion is like Mary's yes because in both cases we become one with the Word made flesh. Whether or not you can go to Mass today, say yes to God and be like Mary so that you too can give flesh to the body of Christ today.